Hey everybody, it's Fat Frog, and in this video I'm going to show you my preferred game settings for both single player and the ones I use on my own server, which are exactly the same. It provides me with a good balance of, as a solo player, and based on feedback I have gotten, many intermediate and advanced players use similar settings. I also give some advice for new players. First off, some good news. All these settings can be changed every single time you launch the single player game. So if you've made it too hard or too easy on yourself, you can change these settings whenever you want and they'll take effect. There is one exception, which I'll get into in a bit. The second piece of good news is that you can and probably should ignore more than 90% of these settings. They are such small tweaks as they're really covered by most other settings uh, to begin with. Also, I don't really need to go over them because as you go down them, there is uh, there's a little highlight here and information that tells you exactly what they do. So let's start taking a look over here. We're going to restore defaults back to normal, and then we're going to choose a difficulty, which if I was a brand new player, what I would do is bookmark this uh, video, and then I would select easy and play for a couple hours. So when you select easy, it's going to go through and change a bunch of these individual stats, as you can see here that it just did. For more advanced players, I would just restore defaults and actually not check any difficulty setting at all. The most important settings that you're going to find for single player are going to be under game rules and then they're going to be the world. So here's you're going to find what's really going to make a difference in your life on Ark Survival Ascended. You've got the XP multiplier, which I just leave at one. You've got the taming speed multiplier, which I would suggest t turning to three. So you can use the slider here, and that's going to give you a range of good recommended things. If you go above kind of the slider recommendations, that sometimes can cause some instability. So I would try sticking with those. But anyway, I like a taming speed of three. The harvest multiplier is the other thing that I changed to three. Now, in Ark Survival Ascended, you cannot level the speed of your player or your dinos by default. There's no way to do that uh, in the default settings. So you can change that if you want. Um, I'm just going to leave mine off for now and see how it plays out, but I may change it a little bit different. So under hard, you want the maximum difficulty on. That's going to force the creatures on your level to be 150, regardless of the map. So on the island, I want high-level dinos, so I'm going to have that on. And when you change it to hard, it's going to be on. Otherwise, it's uh, default. It's with the maximum difficulty and the dino levels is where you're going to have like a legacy effect from having it set to easy or whatever. So when you change it, it'll go. Uh, the max level creatures will go up to 150, but it won't change the actual levels of your tame dinos or the dinos that are on the map right now. When new dinos spawn in, they're going to spawn in at a higher level. So you might see a, uh, a Giga at level 2 or you might see a Dodo at level 150 on that after you do that. So that's going to create something, a situation where you don't want because your tame levels are going to be really bad. And then you're going to have to wait a long time for to get, you know, high level wild dinos to tame to show up. To speed that process up, we're going to go into the game. Now that we're in game, we can get rid of all these wild dinos so new ones will spawn in. Let's do that by using console commands, which in PC Steam here, we're going to bring up using the tilde key, which is right above the tab key and right next to the number one. We're going to type in destroy wild dinos, and that's all one word, and we're going to hit enter. And all the dinos are going to disappear. Now, it's going to take quite some time for them to uh, reappear as new ones will spawn in. But you'll have a much higher chance of getting those high-level dinos now. PvE mode. Now, this is something you may want to have on if you're an early player. That's going to give you a boost uh, to you and your dinos and things like health and melee damage and make it easier uh, on your life. But I like to leave it off because I want to get a somewhat server type uh, experience. Those are the main settings to use. You can get a really good start doing that. But there is something else that we're going to look at. Okay, so now we're going to go into the advanced tab and we're going to go into the world settings again. And we're going to take a look at this. Now, I like it to be daytime quite a lot. So what I do is with the daytime speed, I will change that so it is actually less. So I like it to be about half or maybe a quarter of the speed. So slows down daytime, so your days are going to last longer. It's not going to have any effect on things like taming or spoil timers or any of really time-dependent things. It's just going to be how bright it is outside. 
Next thing, I like the night time to be a lot faster. So what I do is go up to three again using that slider and you can also select that and enter whatever time that you want. So you could do 10 if you wanted to, for instance, and with daytime speed, you could actually find a time of day that you'd like, set it to zero, and then it'll just stay that time forever. But like I said, I'm just going to go to three for nighttime speed over there. All these other things on the left-hand side, I'm going to leave as is. Uh, harvest health, I'm going to leave all that stuff as is as well until we get down to crop growth speed. And if I'm playing on single player, sometimes I like my crops to grow a little faster. So I might go to about three or so on that one. Next thing on single player is the mating interval. That's going to be the time it takes um, between one mating event and another one. So the bigger the number, that's the longer that span is. So you're going to make it hard or impossible on yourself to ever get a second mating. So you want that number to be smaller. And actually 0.5 is quite, <laughs> ends up being quite a long time on single player because when you're offline, those timers aren't changing, right? So you're, it's only as you're playing the game. So I would like usually to go to 0.1. You can always just not have your dinos mate. Now, uh, lay egg interval, this is for uh, sterile eggs. So ones that aren't fertilized and you can't uh, lay. So if you want to uh, raise eggs or have eggs for kibble or eating or whatever you want to do, you're going to want to reduce the interval there. That's going to give you more eggs laid. So I usually go to about half. And sometimes these settings I'll find are a little bit, you know, too long or too short or whatever. And I'll add tweaks depending upon kind of what I'm doing in the game. But you can always come back to that. Egg hatch speed, that's exactly as it sounds. So the higher number here is going to give you a higher egg hatch speed. So we're just going to put that on six for right now. Now we're going to go over the right-hand column and change a couple of these settings. We're going to look at baby mature speed, which is just what it sounds like, how fast a baby ray, uh, is raised up. And depending upon what I'm doing, if I'm just breeding and hanging around the base, I'm going to increase this probably to about 20, depending upon what kind of uh, species that I'm raising. And the baby cuddle interval, I might actually lower that a bit. But if you're out doing, we go down to 0.1 here. But if you're out doing a bunch of other things uh, in between, then you might want to leave those as default. These are basically the only settings that I normally change in game. So like I said, we've avoided even most of these tabs, not much less most of these different things here. I will say if you are a builder or maybe you've built far away from your spawns or something like that, one thing you might want to go into is for instance, like tame dino and then change like your uh, added weight per level or something like that so that you can carry a lot more resources. So there's a scaling uh, factor for that. Or, and and uh, going along with that, you might want to change your stamina, probably not speed, because um, that starts to get kind of overpowered. But that's totally up to you, as you may want to add more weight for your player and stamina as well. I don't do that. I just leave those as default. So for a solo player, I find these settings to be pretty well balanced. You may have uh, some different ideas. And if you do, please leave those down in the comment section. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.